Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd come on and do a uh, tops and flops for you all. So this is for the month of June. So we're in July. I can't believe how quickly it's like going. It's just like we Christmas before you know it. <laughs> Anyway, I thought I would come on. I didn't do one last month. In actual fact, I did do one last month. <laughs> I filmed it. I didn't have a chance to edit it. <laughs> so this is part of last month of May and June combined, really. So I'm going to get it uploaded today, if I can, in a month's my food diary videos. So everything I tell you about, I will put it in the description box down below so you will know and if there's a few there's a few items here that i've purchased i mean most of them are from like a supermarket but the ones that are not i will make sure that i put a link of where i bought it from for you as well so let's get on to it so the first thing i have to show you which i'm sure i've shown you loads of times but it's featuring again because i have loved it it is the vimto remix now this is the orange passion fruit flavor i think it's orange no raspberry orange and passion fruit and um it's now added sugar which means it is free completely free sim free on slimming world and i have been loving it you have seen like in my food diaries for the whole of the month it's been like i've gone through bottles of it i just absolutely love it it reminds me of fruit salad it's just so yummy <laughs> i didn't know a drink could be this good but this one is probably better than most that i've ever had so if you haven't tried it go and try it i highly recommend it so my next item is you also would have seen in my food diary is cherry tomatoes i have been liking these so much i mean i'm not necessarily i've had them with salads but i've been putting them in like little snack um bags and i've been taking them into work and just like picking on them as a snack instead of having like fruit and it's just really really nice to have something a bit different um i tend to be picking ones that are sort of like different kind of flavors as you can see um these are like the yellow and the red ones i don't know if they're particular ones these ones are on the vine the ones i was having before were from weight trays and they had like all different orange colored ones they were really good um I'm not sure if these fittatori cherry tomatoes these are so they're really they're meant to be very sweet apparently which I can say they are I really like them so this is sim free as you know and if you all follow slimming world you'll know that it is free and it's speed food so it's good to get a little bit of extra speed in there so I've been having that really liking it my other thing that I've been having which I've only had recently but I've been enjoying is the dairy milk freddo in the caramel one i've been having as well the normal freddos but they're actually five things whereas the ones with caramel is actually four and a half things so i feel like i'm getting a bargain with these because <laughs> they're just like got caramel in there's not that many um kind of chocolate treats that are small that have got caramel in that i found so this is like really nice i would love to be able to be having the dairy milk caramel bars but <laughs> They are just way too many scenes whereas this is quite satisfying and i like it so it's good so four and a half scenes it is also suitable for vegetarians only veggies out there you can have them i don't know if it's suitable for vegan i doubt it would be because it's got milk in it with the dairy milk so it wouldn't be but yeah very very nice enjoying that and this is another newly discovered it's actually two <laughs> These are the Mavitis Hobnob snack bars. You can see, I'm sort of in between. Um, really like them. This was the first, 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 I can't speak. This is the first flavour I tried, which is the milk chocolate and salted caramel ones. This is probably my favourite, the golden syrup. And these are the salted caramel ones here. I tried this this week i think or last week i picked those up but this was the first ones i tried and i've been reading the back <laughs> and it says also why not try this <laughs> so um i also tried the coconut flavored ones and i wasn't so keen on those for some reason they didn't i don't love coconut anyway but i thought i may like them but i didn't love them but i might try them again at some point but these are really very nice they're like a kind of flapjack with a little bit of chocolate underneath so 
kind of it's not overly chocolatey i wouldn't say it's more sweet flapjacky type thing and they're actually quite big i actually want to show you how big they are so as you can see here they're about that big they're reasonably sized size of my hand which is not bad and they're chewy as well so they take a while to eat so i have been enjoying these these are six and a half scenes and they're suitable vegetarians as well so they also do other flavours, um, they do a ginger one that I haven't tried, mainly because I'm not a great lover of ginger, but I will give them a go. But these two are my favourite so far, the milk chocolate and golden syrup and the salted caramel. So if you see them, try them. I think there might be some other flavours, but they don't have them in the store I go to. So I'm not sure where else you can buy them. <laughs> I have looked at some other supermarkets and I can't seem to find them but I'm sure there might be a, a milk chocolate one and raisin one maybe that I've seen on the app but I haven't actually physically seen it in any supermarkets so anyway next thing I've got I haven't used this much this month but I did use it a lot last month this is a microwave egg poacher now I actually bought this because one of the videos one of the vlogs I saw on YouTube which is trim with tan she actually showed everyone how to use this because this is what she uses every morning because she has poached eggs on toast and I thought it seemed really like a good idea. I have a lot of, I like egg but I'm not so good at cooking them so I thought that this would be a pretty good idea for me and it turns out quite well. So what you do is you put some cold water in the bottom, you fill it probably about this full in both egg poachers, you put it in the microwave I actually do it for a bit longer than what it says. I do it for a minute and a half on high and then I crack one egg in each and then I put the lid back on it and then I cook it in the microwave for another minute and a half on medium and they don't come out, they come out okay. I think there's a little bit of tweaking you have to do with it but they're very, very good. I've been enjoying using this, especially last month and the month before. I used it more in May than I did in June but my partner's been using it and he likes it. So yeah, very good, worth a go if you are into eggs. So my last few items, um, this one here is something called Pixie Glow Tonic. I have been using this now for a couple of months. Now at first when I was using it, I did actually notice there was quite a big difference in my skin. It looked a little bit clearer. Um, it does have some sort of exfoliating in it so it's an exfoliating toner and um, yeah it's actually quite good I've been quite liking this it hasn't got rid of my acne or my spots or anything but it has calmed them down a little bit they're not quite as bad as they would have been but I still have them so really I need to be using what the doctor gave me in conjunction with this but um, I can't be bothered <laughs> So I've just really been using this mainly, and yeah, I quite like it. I've been I used the first bottle without using the cream the doctor gave me at all, and I had a few spots, but they weren't too bad. So I, I've also noticed that my skin looks slightly more dewy than it usually does, and when I put it on, actually, it's slightly warm feeling, which was a bit weird at first, but it's it's okay. I quite I quite like this. So. I've also got it in a very small bottle. I bought the 100 milliliter because I wasn't sure how well I was going to get on with it. So, but they do do 100, 200 milliliter, and I bought it from Marks and Spencers, and I bought it when we had 20% off on both times. So, it's worth a look out if you can get 20% off because it's quite expensive. <laughs> I think it was like 10 pounds or something for 100 milliliters, but worth the money. So, give that a go. Uh, the other thing which I've actually used for a very, very long time is this. It's the Simple Light Moisturiser with SPF Factor 15. Now, I've actually been using this for years, literally. It's the only one I really seem to like. It moisturises nicely. It's not too heavy, but it's, it is it is light, but it kind of hides a lot of the dry patches. I find it quite good. So, I've actually quite like it. And also, I wouldn't recommend like in hot weather just having this on. I would probably put some sort of skin protector on, you know, um, like something higher, an SPF 50 or something in like the really hot weather we've been having if you're going to be out in the sun because you want to protect yourself. But 
it's sort of like days where it's not really all that hot and it protects your skin and it's very very good i haven't burned with it which is just as well because i'm pretty fair as you can see but no it's really really good so i like this um the only thing is that because it's got spf in i think it might make you look a bit shiny but yeah, it can't be helped <laughs> if you want to look after your skin and protect it that's what you need to be using so yeah i quite like that the smell is quite nice as well it's just got kind of like a fresh clean smell really it doesn't it's not oh it's not overly perfumed or anything because i don't think simple are really into that sort of thing but it, it says it has no perfume in it but it has like a nice fresh kind of smell to it which i kind of like it smells a bit moisturizing some are really horrible there's one you can get that doesn't have spf 15 and that smells horrible but this one i quite like so if you haven't tried that give that a go and last but not least is this i've been using this now for about three weeks and it's the garnier skin active pure active three in one clay scrub wash mask it does all of it um it really brought me out in so many spots it was really horrendous <laughs> so much so i've not repurchased it i've actually gone back to my simple one for, i think it's for spotty skin I, think, I can't remember exactly what it's called the one that i'm currently using but it's got chamomile in it so it kind of calms the skin down quite a bit whereas this i found that my face was like kind of red <laughs> and spotty and it looked horrendous and um, the first week it was awful the second week i then decided to use the cream the doctor gave me to try and sort it out and it did work quite well with that but then well, a week of using that and then a week of not using it then all the spots started to come back so that was the only problem but I mean maybe if I was to continue using it with the cream the doctor gave me and of course the pixie glow as well it may be slightly better but I don't know I just felt it was too aggressive for my skin really with the scrub I didn't use it as anything like a scrub or a mask it does say you can I only use it as a facial wash and I, I've got one of these um, things, I can't remember what they're called, but out, ultrasonic things, and that was like too abrasive really, just a bit too much. So unless you, if you've got quite sensitive skin, I'd probably recommend that you don't really use this necessarily. So it wasn't a great hit for me, but they had a few others that I may try. Maybe I need one that doesn't have clay in it possibly, I don't know, but not great anyway that is everything i've got to show you not a huge amount this month um i just wanted to keep it quite short because obviously i've been daily vlogging with all my food diaries so i don't have an awful lot of time to do editing but i wanted to get one in this month because obviously you've seen in my food diaries that there's quite a few things that i have been enjoying and i wanted to actually say what they were in this video as opposed to me incorporation in my food diary so anyway i just want to say thank you all for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video and i shall see you in my next one very very soon bye